Botscopy, Botscopy, Nicolas Venance, Botscopy, a show by Yachting Art Magazine. Hello everybody and welcome to Botscopy, a Botscopy live from Yachting Festival Cannes 2022. Today, look at your girls. We will together have a private workflow of the ML60, the flagship of French shipyard, uh, an iconic shipyard created by Henry Hamel. And for this private tour, let's meet Antoine Rioton, sales manager at uh, Hamel Yards. Hello, Antoine. Good morning, Nicolas. How are you? Fine. Good. Our, our viewers, we are waiting for this private tour since a long time. <laughs> and today, the day has come. Okay, so it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. So, Antoine, uh, could you um, briefly present us your yard and the DNA of the sail yacht you are constructing since years? Uh, the yard is about 55 years old and uh, created and founded by Mr. Amel. We used to call him captain. And uh, our captain uh, used to focus on safety. He was almost blind. And the purpose was to build boats, really uh, safe boats. So this is why we have a central cockpit and uh, some other features that we're going we will probably discover. to talk, talk about. So this 60 is your flagship. You have two units in the range. Yes, we, we built uh, the ML50 since uh, 1917 um, uh, and we launched this ML60 in, 19, uh, uh, in 2019, sorry. And then we, we, we've had the, the award for the boat of the year on, on each boat. Yeah, on each boat. Um, this boat is a sloop. Uh, during long time, uh, you were uh, creating and sailing a uh, catch. Why did you decide to to uh, an evolution to the sloop concept? Alors, in the, in the past, we used to build, of course, for a long period, some catches, but uh, we also had some sloops. Even the, the last boat of Mr. Amel, of the captain, was a, a fango. Uh, but we, we had this catch because it was quite convenient to have smaller sails, easier to, to operate, um, flexibility, uh, using the mizzen and the jib and whatever. But the, the, the shape of the hulls were slightly different and now we have some really beamy boats yeah. and it, it means that this um, mizzen mast was not uh, compulsory, if I can say. Yeah. And finally the sloop worked very well. Yeah. Your naval architect is, uh, is Olivier Racoupeau. Olivier Racoupeau, who is what, what based was the, in La Rochelle. Yeah. What was the brief you gave him when you decided to come from from uh, from catch to, to sloop? Um, it, the, the first thing was to, to first to listen our customers. And they were asking for a smaller boat. I mean, thinking about the ML55, but still still roomy. And then step by step, we listed all this. And then when the, the question of one or two masts, and uh, as I said, because of, of the shape of the hull, and finally we didn't need, if I can say, the, the mizzen, it was also a, a, a solution for us to, to, to make a bigger cockpit, and people were uh, requesting a bigger cockpit as well. So this, the addition of all the elements made that we took the decision, but it was a hard decision to take. Yeah. But finally, we came back on the DNA of the brand, which is safety, not yeah. catch. So, yeah. And we still have those. In terms of design, ideas. when we are looking at uh, the 50 or the 60, we recognize immediately the, the Hamel DNA when it, 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 it's a sloop. Yes, yes, I think, you know, this, uh, this central cockpit and, and the Dodger, which yeah, is the not unique, yeah. but there are, we're not too, too, too many of us building boats with such a nice protection. So this is probably why even far away you can say, oh, it's an Amel. Yeah, it's an Amel. <laughs> uh, it's time now to, to go aboard. On this, uh, on this model, you have a very, very large bathing platform at the aft. Yes, it's a lovely spot, if I can say, with an access to the swimming platform with the telescopic ladder. 
um, on, on a boat, when you go for a long distance and you spend six, eight months aboard, you need a lot of storage. Yeah. So we have a lot, as you can see here in this lazarette, a lot of storage outside and a lot of storage inside, exactly. under the floor, uh, everywhere. It's, yeah, it's a full beam, full beam storage. Definitely. Yeah, it's really surprising so you can when you open bicycles, you can... scuba tanks, diving compressor, extra lines, fenders, uh, whatever you want. Yeah. Before discovering uh, the cockpit, central cockpit, we, let's go to the to the boom and uh, explain uh, the layout, the comfort of the sideways and Alors security. The, as you can see, the passage is perfectly clear. And watch your right hand. You, you grab the solid rail, which is uh, something quite unusual, but uh, we did that uh, for the last 40 years at least. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's a key point of your signature. Yes. Two front uh, sails. Yes, so the boat comes with the, the, the in-mass furling, of course. This, say of course, because uh, we designed our first in-mass in -mass furling in uh, 1983. You, the yes. or, or Or designed, so it's quite, uh, I mean, we've got a quite a good experience on this. Yeah. We've got, of course, again, uh, um, the jib, Genoa, which is on its electric furler. Yeah. And then we can add a stay cell, which is a self-tacking stay cell. Self-tacking. Very convenient. And, on a rough weather. Yeah, because we have to, to explain to our viewers that it's an owner's boat and one person must be able to, to skip this boat. The, this is uh, the, the target, if I can say. If we have a couple sailing far away or around the world, one person has to be able from the cockpit to operate everything which is on the foredeck. Yeah. The Without, captain, the sails, yeah. the bow thruster. Without having to go outside. Definitely. Yeah, it's a specificity of the yacht. C can you remember us uh, key features of the boat? Lengths, width. It's uh, the boat in, in metrics. It's a uh, five five meter thirty five. The beam and and the length is about uh, eighteen meter uh, eighteen meters. Yes. Yeah. It's quite a big boat. Big boat, but but easy not that to much for with the, with all the systems and the assistance. Yeah. Explain us this mass because. From outside you don't know, but inside it's a really specificity of, of the yard. Yes, it's uh, our, our own design and we've got a four spaces in the, in the mast. Four separated spaces. Definitely, from yes. From top to one, bottom. One is for the sail itself. Yeah. In the front we've got another space for the halyards. Okay. And on the two sides for the electric wires. Wow. So everything is clear inside and separated. No possibility to mix and to have a problem inside. No. And, and very, very clean at the bottom of the mast. Yes, as you can see, the, 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 the sheets, uh, I mean, uh, not the sheets, sorry, the halyards are yeah. on the tracks like yeah. this. So we, we, we've got something perfectly clear on the, on the mast step. Wow, very nice. So, key element of the boat, this roof. The daughter, yes. Yeah easily to recognize when uh, we, we meet <laughs> Probably, uh, yes. the boat on as, the as you can see we put some uh, some solar panels on the hard top yeah as standard so we will now enter and discover this central cockpit specificity of the yard and a very very practical helm station Yes, definitely. Here, right here, you, as you can see, we can we can unclose the cockpit, yeah. and uh, this is really important. I mean, uh, if you have a strong wind in a marina on the side, you can close the side. If you have showers in tropics or whatever in winter as well, you can turn on the diesel heater and live in this cockpit even in winter. Have nice lunch on the moraine. Yeah, if it's fully enclosed. How many people can sit around the table? One, two, three, uh, four. During the, the <laughs> when, when during we shoot the, the movie yeah. of of this, uh, which is a very nice video, it was in, in Le, Le Glenon in Brittany, wow. in France. But you've got the feeling you we were in in Caribbean. Yeah, and we were about twelve of us. Twelve. But a bit a bit tight, but eight, ten. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. Back to the to the helm. You're right. This is where 
we can operate everything. Yeah. Dear viewers, can you admire this arm station? It's surely unique in the cellular <laughs> market. Well, we've got here the engine, two retractable um, thrusters, bow and stern, so we can operate everything with one, one hand. Uh, we've got here the, the charts, of course, uh, uh, the echo sounder, fish finder, um, what else? Uh, the radar, all the, all, all this, uh, the autopilot. Yeah. We can have a second one as well. So for long distance, it makes sense to have right. a second Don't one. See. Here is uh, the capstan, the winch, with the chain counter. Over there, we operate the sails with the main sail, the stay sail, the jeep. Really, uh, another. Uh, Everything is here, yes. So it's not difficult to operate this. For example, you unfurl the jib and trim in with oh. the electric winch. Even the main sheet traveler is controlled from, from the cockpit. You are well protected. You can open for a natural ventilation yes it's, it's important because sometimes people can 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 have the feeling that we're really enclosed but finally on a marine you can open the hatches and and, and the windshield here so the pressure comes through and this part is as you can see white so finally it's cool here yeah. cooler than probably under a dark bimini yeah a, a dark bimini what we find uh, in the in the market what is very uh, unique on the market is the engine room. We, we will now open and discover at Amel access to the engine is not from, uh, from interior. No, the access is from the cockpit, which means that we, we keep it enclosed in that, that space. The noise, um, the heat, smells, mechanic smells. Are you ready, yeah. Nicolas? <laughs> Wow. Attention. Impressive. A, a real engine room. Yes, you All know. Mecha mechanician like, like <laughs> to, to, to look at that. Yes, because you, you don't have to service the engine in, in the saloon. You, you come here, step down, stand up, and then you can reach the engine, which is a Volvo 175 horsepower. Yeah. We've got here the generator. We've got the diesel tank, mm. charger. How many liters diesel? Uh, 950. Yeah, good. And um, if you have a water maker, it, it, it stands here. Um, diesel heater, all the systems are here. And it's something unique, Nikolai. We've, we've got one single, one unique through hole, and then the water goes into a chest. Single? Only Single one. Entrance. One through hole under the water line. Just behind us. So it's behind the keel, yeah. and uh, so it's very easy and safe. Yeah, and uh, if we, we you, there would have a problem, you can. Alors, as you can see, it's a bit higher than the water line, yeah. and it goes straight through the hole. So if you had to 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 remove something, which can I, I don't know, seaweed or whatever, plastic bag. Then you can push with a, with a stick. Wow! And of course, we've got an alarm on it. So, if the so volume of water coming in is not sufficient, then the alarm starts and you've got a buzzer which says, "Be careful! There is something in in the field." Impressive! Impressive! It was a key point for the captain. Safety on board. Safety again. Wow! We are aboard. Um, a passage maker sailboat, circumnavigation, uh, comfort is a, a key element of uh, an AML, specifically this AML 60. Yes. So we will go inside. Wait, well, maybe we can start in the in the front cabin. I, I don't know. I just follow you, Nicola. Yeah. So, how did you decide to organize the layout of the? Of the of the of the um, in, in in the past, I mean, we used to have the, the nav station on, on on starboard side and and the galley on port side. But 
you know, when, when you're selling, e even leaving a board, even for a short period, and you sell probably about 20% of the time. Yeah. The rest of the time, you leave a board. So yeah, sure. it was something logical for us to finally open a little bit that space and, and to put the, the galley uh, right here on the side. So you, you've got a huge space. It's a huge space. Really, it's amazing natural lighting. Yes, we've got some uh, quite a lot of openings, and uh, this brings some light. Even because this is a light oak, yeah. but we also offer this American walnut, yeah. which is a little bit darker. But the boat is not dark, as we have a lot yeah. of lot of light. So we can begin with this. Uh, this uh, chart table at Amel, chart table is important. Still, <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah. On some boots now, we I mean, I we don't have a nav navigation, uh, but we, I we want to we, insist in this. Uh, we think it's it's still really important, table. you know, and it, it's a spot you you like to to sit. You, see, you can sit there, be with someone else, have a chat, and uh, so it's it's a lovely spot. And uh, then, you, of course, you still can work and prepare wow. uh, the, the the next navigation. Have a look at this uh, central station. Beautiful details in finishing at uh, at Amel. You you, you have a, a great attention to all details and finishing aspects. Yes, yes, it's important for us. All all the the woodwork is made in house. For example, so we work on on solid wood, plywood, uh, all the round shapes like this are laminated as well. Yeah, you 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 can see the the quality of the, the hinges and yeah. that kind of things. So. Yeah, you have a, a dining area. Def yes, it's it's a nice nice spot. You can have a, a large table for you and your guests and your crew and whatever. But during the day, what I like very much, it, it, it's folded it, right? yeah. that size, which means yet that you, you can easily come here, have spend a, spend a while. It's it's very pleasant space, and we've got on the other on the other side a bar. And uh, another space just to to split really open open that space. big space in two. Yeah. And we we also can add the galley because if you're in the galley and someone else is here, uh, you can you can yeah. share a nice moment anyhow. Galley is like at home. <laughs> yeah. Even better, yeah. Even better. As <laughs> you you can see outside and and it's, it's <laughs> this sea. is lovely, you know. <laughs> it's better than the garden. But uh, talking the yes about uh, equipment, uh, we've got of course uh, an oven, uh, the induction. Uh, here is a dishwasher. We've got a clothes washer as well, the fridge, a freezer, another space over there, a freezer under the sofa. So yes, a, a lot, and as you can see, it's not too wide. Yeah. So at at sea, it's easy to, to cook in a safe yeah. position. In safe position, and if someone wants to reach, of course, the there is cabin. enough room for being yeah. two to, to cross each other. Yes, some detail. You have a, a, a lot of fridge capacity. Alors yes, fridge is here. One, two drawers plus the two others. Yeah. This is a, the, the nice dish, dishwasher. How many cabins do you offer aboard this, uh, this uh, Animal 60, uh, Antoine? I would say only three. Three cabins. Wow. Well, the the only cabin and two cabins for identical cabins for guests. So we discover forward cabin. S uh, two cabins are the same. So the starboard one. Uh, a huge, huge bed with yes. direct view on, direct on, on the sea, on, yes, the sure. sea. on the sunset, sunrise. A lot of storage. Yes, under the bed, everywhere here, we've got drawers as well, hanging locker, and a separate shower, separate shower. and a bathroom, of course, yeah. which is independent from the other one. So there are two fully equipped. Some details about finishing, dear viewers. Look at this door. 
really beautiful. And uh, the last but not the least, <laughs> it's time now to, to discover the so owner's it suite. It's, it's not a cabin. Oh, it's, it's a uh, Yes, if you can say. As you can see under the floor, there's plenty of storage again. As we said, a lot inside and a lot outside as well. And no noise when we walk inside in terms of finishing good work. Well, it's uh, something if you, I mean, in the future, if you want to come and visit us at the yard, we'll show you how we build the boat, yeah. how we laminate each part to the other. Sure. Each, each part here is, is part of the structure of the boat, each bulkhead, storage, the, even the, the bed, the structure of the bed is part of the structure of the boat. And, and wow. this offers a, a nice storage, massive storage. Yes, with a direct view on the yeah, in, in case of problem, at least you can check and, and, and see what's going on. Uh, a very good idea. Full beam owner's cabin. Yeah. Impressive. Always beautiful details on furniture and direct line. A lot of natural lights. Wow, who is a designer, internal designer of the boat? We worked with uh, Olivier and uh, uh, Olivier Racopo and his wife uh, Isabelle. Isabel. Yes, uh, we recognize the sense of details of Isabelle. Uh, well, here okay. is a vanity. Yeah. So you can uh, you can come here and uh, why not to work or read a book and close the door yeah. and you can have a private space. Yeah, you know, private sometime. space, but there is a lot of places where we can isolate on board this boat. It's important, it's a big boat, but <laughs> it's a small, small surface. <laughs> a small surface <laughs> and they stay a long time aboard. Yes, <laughs> yes some <laughs> time. <laughs> uh, a beautiful uh, head here with separate shower. Same finishing line in the rest of the boat. You, you see, as you are a sailor, but for some people it's not, not evident to, but you can sit in the shower yeah. when you're really sailing with the 20 important. knots and uh, yeah. you, need, you need to take a shower, it's, it's safe to sit there, there that kind of details make a big difference. Yeah. Our, uh, our private tour is unfortunately coming to an end, uh, Antoine, it's a great moment. Uh, could you give us an idea of the price of the boat? The, the base price of the boat is uh, 1,980,000 ex-VAT. Yeah. And, um, Do you have to add a lot of... Uh, not, not a lot. <laughs> no, sometimes you know. Who will double the price of the boat? This happens sometimes, <laughs> but, but here with Amel, no, it's Amel, different. Yeah. On, on the top of this, uh, let's say, a bit less than 2 million, we, we can add about uh, 250,000 ex VAT because the boat comes with the carbon mast, comes with the lithium batteries, comes with the furlers, comes with the generators. Well so equipped. Very well equipped. Because uh, it it has to answer the asking of your clients. It, it's very really specific askings. Yes. So and then you can add or you can decide to have a diesel diesel heater if yeah. you go in cold places or or and why not uh, river cycle air conditioning that kind of details if I can say. You, are, you have a client who is sailing uh, around uh, Greenland. I see. Ah, oui, oui. Uh, right now, yes. Yeah. He, <laughs> He, he just posts some amazing photos and I'm so pleased for him. When, when, when we started our conversation before, uh, let me tell you that story. The, this gentleman called me during the COVID period and yeah. said, oh, you know, I don't have a huge experience, but I would be interested in your boat. And then we had discussions and finally he ordered the boat. Yeah. And you know what? Never tested the boat and visited the boat before Never. the delivery. Yeah. Then he came here in La Rochelle. Can, can happen. <laughs> And then he started the tour, and he's now in in the, those cold places with icebergs, and uh, and I'm so pleased for him. Yeah. And he's such a clever, clever yeah. person, you know. So uh, we're very pleased when when someone someone can reach the dream, you know. Yeah, you make the dream happen. If we can, we're happy for. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> happy you with that. Thank you very much, Antoine. You're welcome. Bye bye, Nicolas.